Hello, my name is Joe and welcome to a very short edition of Joe's Technology. Sorry guys, I've been a little busy, so I haven't been on my tech channel in a while, but uh, I'm going to get back into it and we're going to go ahead and take a look at technology related things. As you know, I'm splitting off my channels. Um, well, you know, Linux is going off to its own channel, Office applications to their own channel, gaming to its own channel. That way, if you're interested in technology and just basically technology, you don't have to dig through all those other videos in order to get to the stuff that you're interested in. All right, so sorry I've been off doing other things. I'm going to get back into technology. One of the things that's going to be very hot for the summer and I keep hearing about constantly in the trade press is the upcoming release of Windows 10. So here we are on the Microsoft site. Now Windows 10 is not officially out yet. However, Microsoft is making available uh, development uh, versions. You know, these are previews to show you what you can expect from Windows 10. And implicitly, these all come with an agreement that says that you're agreeing to monitoring. So be aware of that. Anything you do on an installation of, uh, of one of these previews is visible to Microsoft. The whole reason that they give it to you is to help with feedback. So they're going to scan and see what kind of machine did you run it on, what kind of performance did it get, and they're going to use that feedback in order to tweak this operating system to hopefully make it better. But uh, FYI, do not put anything that you consider private onto <laughs> a preview version of Windows 10. This is going straight to Microsoft and you're not going to get a choice. That's the purpose of the preview, is to provide data to Microsoft. Well, although I'm not the biggest fan of Windows 10, I, I still use Windows 7 for the one Windows computer that I do have, the rest are all Linux, I will give Windows 10 a fair shake. So I'm downloading the Insider Preview myself, and here's my little download here, and it's going to take a while. It's only 3.7 uh, gigabytes for the ISO image, but it's going to take a while because Microsoft servers are getting beat up. As a matter of fact, as I look at it, notice it went from 17 to 18 to 19 to 20. As more people pile on, the download gets slower and slower and slower. So be prepared. If you want to download the uh, preview, uh, you may see the speed of the download fluctuate wildly. And that's not due to your ISP. It's entirely due to whatever Microsoft's capacity is for this download. I would just set this to run and expect it to run through the night and probably tomorrow while you're at work. So hopefully, if you're lucky, when you come home from work tomorrow, your download will be done and you'll be ready to try out the ISO image. Just keep in mind that caveat, whatever you do on a computer that's running this preview is not private. Microsoft will get all that data and it's intended, like I said, to help them develop the product to make it better. This is a preview build, and the preview build is 10.130, and we have two links. We have one for the x86 version and the x64. You'll notice that I'm downloading the 64-bit. I, well, I probably do if I dig around in my junk. I probably do have some 32-bit processors laying around here, but they're not being used. Um, it's just... Uh, I have hoarding issues. I, I've got lots of old computers, and I'm like, but I know they work. I don't want to throw them away. I'll find someone worthy to give them to. And then nobody wants them, even though they're free, even though they work perfectly. Um, <laughs> at some point, uh, someone's going to have to come over here and do an intervention and just help me throw the computers away. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, but RLL and FFM might just come back tomorrow. These hard drives are still good. <laughs> <laughs> as they weigh 30 pounds. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, if you'd like to download the Insider Preview and try out Windows 10 for yourself with those caveats, I provided the links to both of the ISOs that are now available in the description of this video. So go ahead and have at it. I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit edition myself, and I'm going to try it out, and we'll go through it here on the channel as I get back into technology. Um, I've missed you guys. Uh, it's been a long time, and I see that we've, we've actually added some subscribers since I was out, so I feel even worse. Here are people subscribing to the channel. They want to see more about technology. You know what? I need to give people the, the videos that they came here to see. So uh, I'm interested in your feedback. Let me know the types of things that you would like to see, especially if you have any questions about Windows 10 in particular, what it can do and what it can't. And maybe we can go ahead and find out together. See you next time.